today what we're going to do is we're going to quickly look at adding a discount. Adding a discount has two different phases. The first one's the easy one. We're going to do that one in this video. It's going to be really quick. The second one is we have to put it into our reporting. And that's a little more involved. We'll get to that in part two. For now, what we want to do is we want to go and we want to put a discount in. I've got a sample table here, table 407. I'm signed in as a server. So we're going to pull up table 407. So let's go to our pay screen and let's say that I want to make a discount and I want to add a discount called Jason's Discount. In this case, we're going to go to our discount screen, which is accessible here under our discount button. And here we can see that we've got a bunch of different categories of discounts. Yours might not be this involved. Chances are high that it's not actually. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a discount button over here, just to the right of discounts. It's going to say Jason's Discount. And as we get ready to do that, we want to think about what is our discount, our new discount, going to be similar to? Just like we do menu items, we're going to look for a similarity, and then we're going to copy and paste so we're not making it from scratch. In our case, we're going to copy a 20% discount, this discount for 20%, and we're going to make it for 10%, say. So let's go ahead and minimize this. We're going to head into the configurator. And once we're here, we're going to go to our Sales tab and then to our Discounts button here. In our navigation area, you can see all of the different discounts that we already have programmed in the system. What we're going to do is we're going to find the one that we want to copy. And in our case, we decided it was going to be the 20%. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight the 20% in the navigation area. We're going to go over here and we're going to copy record, just like if we were doing a menu item. And we're going to paste the record. So we're going to go ahead and paste that record. And you can see that it added at 216. So this is the new one, 216, and we're going to call this 10%. So I'm just going to type that in. And then we're going to go over here and we're going to walk through all of our fields to make sure it's the way we want it to be. In this case, 10% discount is going to be a manual. It's not automatically added to the check. We have to do it manually. That's what we want. It's going to discount all of our taxes. It's going to print on the guest check. And if you want to double check that, because you want to make sure it goes to reports, you can click on this shortcut here. And we're looking at the guest check, print class. And we can see that it prints on the receipt, the journal, the report, and the check. And that's what we want, so that is fine. Privilege is set. Uh, usually a privilege of zero is your server privilege. A privilege of one is bartender. Two is management team, and three is usually the owner or the operator. Okay, we're going to set our percentage here. We said we wanted 10, so we're going to set it down here at 10%. And up here, we want it to show up on the screen. Look up right now, it's at the discount employees, which if we look at our operations, when we hit discounts, it's under our employee discount screen lookup. What we want, our new one, is we want it to show up right here. So this is just simply our discounts screen. So we're going to change this from discounts employee to just discounts. Menu level class, we want this to be available every day, all day. We're going to save that, and then we're going to head to options. General settings, we're going to keep everything that was already programmed with our previous key, because that was working for us before. But this is where you would check whether it was a preset, whether it was a dollar amount. And if you click on the dollar amount, it's going to reference this amount right here. So we're going to save that. It's all set, all set and done. We're going to let the system refresh, and then we're going to go and we're going to pick up our check, and we are going to test it out. Okay, we've given it a minute or so, and now we're going to go back in, and we're going to pick up our check. We're going to go to our pay screen, okay? Then we're going to go to discounts, and sure enough, there's our 10% button, which is the one we just made. And we can see that we've got 1537. So what we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead without highlighting anything and hit 10%. It's going to ask us for authorization because I'm currently signed in as a server. So our authorization is a manager code. Then it's going to ask us for 10% info, basically saying, why are we giving this discount? And we'll just say good cust. And now we can see that it is applied 10% off of the entire check. So that's it. I mean, that's all there is to adding a discount. Now we have to make sure that it 
is being tracked in the system and not throwing off our system sales and our employee checkout at the end of the night. And we will do that in the following video.